You know, you remembered all the flooding that we experienced last summer. Well, here we are a year later and people are still feeling the impact. Yeah, that water damage turned into mold and now many people are finding out the hard way that there aren't many legal guidelines about mold testing. Tonight, WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs introduces us to one renter in Baltimore City who got sick just from living in his own apartment. Now he's fighting for change. While the root causes of mold, like standing water and leaky pipes, are code violations in the city, mold itself is not specifically listed. So inspectors don't test for it. They only do a visual inspection. And that's what this city resident and a leading mold lawyer are trying to fix. On Kevin Lanier's front door, a sign he bought when he first moved in 23 years ago. It's a Maya Angelou quote, and it says, home can heal and there's healing in the home. Um, and unfortunately, this home is not healing me. It's actually made things worse. For the last 10 months, his home has been making him sick. I actually wear this mask at, at the suggestion of um, the medical advisors that, um, who's been treating me. The problem started at Courtyard Apartments in Baltimore early last year in the unit below him. Fungal growth is evident. See lab reports. That family showed attorney Neil Bixler air testing, which found high levels of unhealthy mold in their apartment from water damage. Well, his daughter got really sick, had to be hospitalized. Um, and yeah, they just moved out because they were getting sick. The landlord, Fairfax Station Enterprises, let the family out of their lease early and gave them their security deposit back. A Baltimore City housing inspector later found the violations were fixed. Six months later, Lanier's asthma really starts acting up. The landlord gave him an air purifier, but nothing helped. So he hired an independent company to test the air in his apartment. The results? High levels of mold. It was alarming after being determined that I was um, tested positive for, for mold allergies. I, I didn't know exactly what to do. Like, I was stunned because I didn't know exactly what my next course of action was. Then in May of this year, Lanier found more mold in the basement laundry room. When you look at my photographs, you clearly see that there is mold present. An inspector found the appearance of mold and water damage and issued a violation. The city says it was fixed a month and a half later. There's no way of knowing if it was done properly. That's because there's no requirement in the city or even surrounding counties to test the air for mold. What is required is a visual inspection to ensure the area is clean, dry, and undamaged. Completely ignoring the fact that mold spores, by definition, are microscopic. You cannot see them with the naked eye unless you have a lot of active mold growth. He's fighting for more protections for renters, like adding mold testing to city inspections. Does it add a little bit to the cost? Yes, but considering the savings dealing with health impacts, it's well worth it. It's something the Baltimore City Council will soon consider, holding an informational hearing about mold is the good that can be gained from the regulation going to be worth the trouble and expense of imposing the regulation on the people who didn't need it. It's not that expensive, and it's more expensive not to do the right thing in the long run. Bixler's now working to get linear compensation for medical bills and months of missed time at work. They're in mediation with Fairfax Station Enterprises through the Attorney General's office. The landlord's lawyer offered Lanier $1,000 and a 30-day release if he waived his future legal rights. Lanier declined. Then, in early October, Lanier gets a knock on the door. The landlord hired an independent company to test the air quality of his apartment and the basement. A bit of progress for Lanier's case, but more than the compensation, he wants to make sure no one else falls victim to this. Until, you know, you get these guidelines put into practice, you know, situations like this will continue to happen. The landlord's attorney says they have the air test results back and they're reviewing them. In the meantime, they're going to go ahead with some ductwork cleaning. The Baltimore City Council's informational hearing on mold and housing is November 12th. It's open to the public and anyone who signs up can speak.